Hey everybody, Bungzi here with another two minute ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. Today we are reviewing Patagonia's Nana Airlight hoodie. This is one of several pieces in their Nano Air line, which is designed to be worn during strenuous outdoor activity. So I thought this might be perfect for cold weather backpacking. Shall we see? For starters, let me stress that this jacket line is not designed to be your sole outer layer. You still need a puffy for stops or camp. Wind goes straight through the Nano Air as intended. It's designed to keep you warm enough while active in cold temperatures without overheating. At least that's the concept. From a backpacker's perspective specifically, I suggest thinking of this uh, fitting in the mid-layer category. Now, your comfort level when wearing an active cold weather layer such as this is dependent on many things. The activity you're engaged in, your effort level, the temperature, precipitation, wind, and that's just off the top of my head. So is, is there a combination of the above factors that makes a Patagonia Nano Air the perfect mid-layer? I'm sure there is. There are probably several, but I have yet to find the backpacking scenario in which this is the ideal mid-layer. To keep this simple, in my experience, it's either too warm once I get moving, or it's too cold by itself once I stop as the wind goes right through it. And while it is light, it's not any lighter than a simple fleece, which remains the perfect active layer or mid-layer for backpacking in my opinion. The lightest Nano Air model weighs 11 ounces in a medium. And when you take price into account, the tried and true fleece is definitely the way to go. To stress, I'm not saying this is a bad piece of gear. In fact, it might be the most comfortable piece of clothing I own, but I can't recommend this as a no-brainer mid-layer for backpacking. I'm sure there's a specific temperature threshold in which this piece works uh, well as an active backpacking layer, but all I can say is it's not the 40s or the 30s. It's something well colder than that. So barring some extreme winter hiking conditions, I would advise you stick with the fleece. Well, that's all I need. I hope I gave you something to think about. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, click on that itty bitty Bungsy logo in the bottom right hand corner of this video. And I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking.